There are so many reasons you might want to get one of this. Could be you're one of those who don't like to pump tires at a gas station, having so many weird people around, or maybe you just don't want to spend hours waiting for a tow truck whenever your car tires are flat. Or maybe you just don't want to get your hands dirty. Not to mention that driving with insufficient air pressure in your tires puts you at risk and increases your chances of an accident. I know it's stressful and that's why you should consider investing in one of this. Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel and for those who are returning to this channel, it's good to have you back. I'm Shibabs and in this video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing first impressions of the K2 Air Bank. We'll check each and every one of its features and functions as well as step by step on how to use it. But most importantly, we'll try and answer the question, is this worth it or is it just another junk? So without further ado, let's get started. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time an air compressor is one of the most useful beats you can carry and they are not that expensive. There's really no excuse for not having one handy. A portable air compressor is a must-have accessory for any driver and the more often you drive off-road, the more use it's gonna get. In the package we have K2 air inflator, valve converter, ball converter, and a user manual. It's in Chinese or something. I think this is German, Spanish, French, and this should be Italian. The K2 air inflator features up to 150 PSI high pressure output and a powerful motor. It comes with a 15 foot 12 volt DC car power cable which can be stored in a small compartment at the back of the unit. A great thing because you have void cables being messy and everywhere. There is also a large easy to read digital display gauge for PSI reading and in front here there is an emergency LED light to make nighttime operation easier. Before we continue, let's identify the parts of this device. Power button, long press to turn on or off power and just press to start or stop inflating. Mode switch, press to choose mode and long press to choose unit, whether bar or PSI. The plus button, press to increase pressure and long press for a quick increase. Minus button, press to decrease pressure and long press to quickly reduce. There is a light switch, press to turn on or off lighting, DC 12 volt power interface, air tube, cigarette lighter plug, and LED screen. Setup of the air bank tire inflator is very easy, basically summarized in three simple steps. Just power on your car, attach the cable, use correct nozzle, set pressure, and go. We're gonna pump our tricycle tire, a baby pool, and a car tire with a K2 inflator. But whatever you're gonna inflate, the operation is basically the same. Insert the cigarette lighter plug into the cigarette lighter socket. Note that when using the car cigarette lighter to supply power to the air pump, start the car first and then turn on the power to prevent the air pump from draining the car battery. Other DC power adapters can also be used to power the air pump. The adapter's power supply voltage should be 12 volts and the current should be greater than 10 amperes. Long press unit button to switch PSI and bar unit Short press to switch between five modes of use, custom, car, motorcycle, bicycle, and basketball. Commonly used air pressure values are preset in each mode. Use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the preset pressure value. Press power button to start inflating. Press it again to pause or continue. The unit will stop automatically when it reaches the target pressure. So today we're going to see how to pump the bicycle tires using this thing. In this case, we don't have to use an adapter. So we can see this is on. Now connect the air tube to the inflating valve.
Long press the power button to turn on the power. This is the mode. We go and we choose bicycle mode. The screen will display the current pressure. So you just press this and that's it. So the same process all over again. No air, absolutely. Now we attach this. We connect this to the valve. Long press, and then we choose bicycle. Now press start again. Insert the cigarette lighter plug into the cigarette lighter socket. Note that when using the car cigarette lighter to supply power to the air pump, start the car first and then turn on the power to prevent the air pump from draining the car battery. Other DC power adapters can also be used to power the air pump. The adapter's power supply voltage should be 12 volts and the current should be greater than 10 amperes. Now connect the air tube to the inflating valve. Long press the power button to turn on the power. The screen will display the current pressure. Long press unit button to switch PSI and bar unit. Short press to switch between five modes of use, custom, car, motorcycle, bicycle, and basketball. Commonly used air pressure values are preset in each mode. Use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the preset pressure value. Press power button to start inflating. Press it again to pause or continue. The unit will stop automatically when it reaches the target pressure. Pump air into this baby swimming pool. Note that when using the car cigarette lighter to supply power to the air pump, start the car first and then turn on the power to prevent the air pump from draining the car battery. Other DC power adapters can also be used to power the air pump. The adapter's power supply voltage should be 12 volts and the current should be greater than 10 amperes. Now connect the air tube to the inflating valve. Long press unit button to switch PSI and bar unit. Short press to switch between five modes of use custom, car, motorcycle, bicycle, and basketball. Commonly used air pressure values are preset in each mode. Use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the preset pressure value. Press power button to start inflating. Press it again to pause or continue. The unit will stop automatically when it reaches the target pressure. The beauty of this portable air compressor is that it can pump most automobile and ATV tires, bikes, and balls. It's very convenient and easy to use, even for beginners. It's so compact that you can even keep it in the glove box and take it wherever you go. Another thing I love about it is that it will automatically shut off when the preset pressure is reached. So grab a K2 and say goodbye to manual pump, stress, and wasting time and money at gas stations. You can do it yourself at home with no time pressure and clean up after. I hope we've been able to give out enough information about this K2 air tie inflator and this video has been helpful. If you have any comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. For more information about where to buy this product or similar one at a good price, below you'll find a link. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching and as always, see you soon.